Chronic pain can take over your life when it affects your movement. It can be debilitating. Today, we're going to learn about spinal stenosis, the causes, the symptoms, and the treatment that's available. Dr. Joel Bauman is a neurosurgeon at Midstate Medical Center and joins us here on Style. Nice to have you here, doctor. Nice to be here. I think first for our viewers and for me, we have to uh, kind of explain exactly what lumbar spinal stenosis is. So lumbar spinal stenosis is a condition of the low back mm -hmm. and um, it occurs when there is a narrowing of the spinal canal here which starts to cause compression of the spinal nerves and it can be a very debilitating uh, disease because of that narrowing. Now is that something that an injury causes or just over time? Uh, the most common cause is arthritis mm -hmm. and um, as we age these small joints in the back of the spine called facet joints tend to uh, hypertrophy or enlarge and as that happens they tend to start to cause compression of the nerves that reside in the spinal canal. So. And what typically are patients feeling at that point? So the onset can be somewhat insidious. It can take uh, months or years to even put things together but uh, the classic symptomatology is called neurogenic claudication which okay. It's a big term. Yep, break it down for us. <laughs> but, um, it's basically a weakness or numbness uh, that occurs in one or both legs okay. that particularly happens when a patient walks or is standing for a prolonged period of time. Uh, there may be a back pain component to it, but that's usually secondary. And who typically experiences this problem? So this is a, a disease of the aging spine. Okay. So patients start to develop these symptoms uh, in uh, their 50s, and as our population lives longer and longer, this problem becomes more and more prevalent. It is, okay, and uh, how would you diagnose it? Well, sometimes you can diagnose it based on just the, the, story they're telling, the history alone. Yeah. A patient will present to my office and will say, doctor, you know, I, I, I have trouble walking just from the, the car to the grocery store, but once I'm in the grocery store, mm -hmm. I use a shopping cart and I can walk indefinitely. And what happens, we think, is that leaning forward creates enough flexion here of the spinal canal to open things up to allow just enough breathing room for the nerves. And so that's the typical story. Sure. We actually have a graphic that we're going to put up, and you could explain for us, doctor, exactly what we're looking at. Kind sure. of breaks it down a little further. So these are a set of MRI images, and many patients come to see me with, uh, with some form of imaging. And on the top, you can see a, a relatively open uh, spinal canal. Uh, on the left is a uh, profile view, and on the right is a cross-sectional view. Mm -hmm. At the bottom, you can see a stenotic uh, canal where there is compression. The spinal nerves just don't have room to pass through uh, that in, in that one area. And on the right, you can see, and circled there, is basically just no room for the nerves. Well, how do we fix this, I think, is the right. biggest question. So there's two types of treatment uh, that we can offer. We can offer non-operative treatment for mild symptoms, Jesus, sure. um, and that may consist of pain management, uh, injections into the spine, uh, pain medications, physical therapy, certain exercises. Uh, but really, this is a surgical condition when it comes to moderate or severe symptoms. Okay, and uh, you've brought some instruments with you today that uh, kind of uh, shows us how to do it, and also a video. So let's take a look at the video first, and then we'll break it down a little uh, sure. further. Sure. Well, this video shows one of the uh, great technological advancements that we have now to decompress the spinal nerves and to perform a laminectomy. And it's um, an ultrasonic instrument mm -hmm. that... Um, will, uh, as we show the video here, it will uh, demonstrate to you how the um, bone can be removed safely without injuring the nerves beneath it. And that's actually what you brought here with you, the, actual, right. the equipment. So this is the device itself, and this is a handpiece, and it's uh, uh, operated by uh, a generator here. And it oscillates at about uh, 22,000 times per second, which can... Um, easily cut through bone, but spares the soft tissues uh, beneath it. Which makes it very useful for a procedure like this, right? Absolutely. One of the things that patients tell me is, um, you know, oh, I should have had this operation done years ago. They're so terrified of surgery. Uh, mm -hmm. They've heard horror stories about uh, paralysis. And, you know, um, 
spine surgery has come a long way, and these technological advancements that we have now are really changing the way we do it and the safety profile of it. For example, these are the instruments that we used to use. This is... See, that's a little intimidating, right. Doctor. And, uh, absolutely. And so I'm not sure that I would feel comfortable if somebody <laughs> told me that this is what they were going to use on my spine. So you can see the difference, and I'd like to demonstrate that yes, to you. Yes, please do. The, uh, the precision uh, that we can now do spine surgery with. So this is going to go right through the bone. Right. But the first thing I want to do is show you just how safe it is. I'm going to actually turn it on and run it along my hand here. And you can see how it's not causing any injury to my skin whatsoever. Right. So you can imagine how safe that is on spinal nerves. Okay. So now I'm going to demonstrate just how powerful this is when cutting bone. So this is a model of, uh, of the lumbar spine and I'm going to do the procedure, the laminectomy, which is removing the bony covering of the spinal canal. And so here I'm making cuts on either side. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're doing surgery right here on Connecticut style. This is great. <laughs> and this is exactly how I would do it in the operating room. You can see these smooth, perhaps one millimeter diameter cuts mm -hmm. that we make on both sides of the spinal canal with the nerves uh, represented by the balloon just below it. And then that bone is just going to pop right off, right? That's right. Wow, and it's come a long way, huh? That's exactly how it's done in the operating room. And typically, how long is recovery for a procedure like this? There, there you, you go. <laughs> the recovery is pretty quick. Actually, this patient, uh, patients can have surgery and leave the hospital on the same day or the day afterwards. Typically, by the time I see patients back in the office uh, in two weeks, they are fully recovered. They're moving around yeah, nicely, they're, right? They're up, they're moving, they're not on bed rest. That, that, that was the old model uh, of spine surgery, but this is really facilitating uh, patient recoveries, and it's the state of the art that we're proud to offer at Mid-State Medical Center. Very good, Doctor. Thank you so much for the demonstration and for being here on Style. And Mid-State Medical Center is located at 430, 435 Lewis Ave in Meriden, and if you need more info, you can visit midstatemedical.org. Pretty interesting stuff there. Thanks again. Thank you. And